Here's everything you need to know about adding and erasing things in GimKit Creative. All right, first step is the idea of adding. So in the top right hand corner is the plus, you'll click it. And now you have four options. Terrain is anything from floors and walls that you wanna create in your map. Props will give you objects and decorations. Devices and wiring allow the game aspect of GimKit Creative to come into play. But in the meantime, we're gonna talk about terrain. Once you click on terrain, you're gonna notice that you have the option to make it either a floor or a wall. You can change it later in a different screen, don't worry. Uh, but in the meantime, let's focus on just creating floors. And for today, we're gonna to use boardwalk. So once you click on your terrain, it's gonna allow you to click and essentially make the floor however you want. You can design it, you can make it a square rectangle, whatever the pattern is, you can make it. However, though, you'll notice that it's a bit of a pain to click on every single block and fill it in. You can also click and drag and that speeds up the process, but that's still not much when it's one block at a time. Now to worry to fix this, the bottom right hand corner is the brush size option. You can click on it, change it to a two, that makes it two by two, a three makes it a three by three, and a four makes it a four by four. Four by four allows you to create a gigantic space for your map in a matter of seconds. Let's say you hated everything that you just created. So you can go to the top left hand corner and click the eraser tool. And now it shows you a couple different things. Number one, the eraser mode is on terrain. That means that you can delete, indeed in fact, anything that you just put down. The eraser size tells you how large of the space you can delete. Again, the one by one is really if there's like some small spots that you wanna do some fine tuning to. If you wanna delete the whole thing in a fast way, you can go to the three by three, click and delete your floor in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, they do not have the ability in deleting to click and drag and delete the thing in a fast manner. You have to click in every single box to delete your terrain. All right, let's talk about adding in props. Props are pretty basic as well. Let's say we wanna add in some arcade machines. So I'll add an arcade machine, we'll add a basketball, and we're gonna add in a 3D printer. Now you notice I had to go back to the adding in screen every single time to add these things in. But what if I don't wanna do that? What if I wanna cut corners? Well, if you hover over any of these objects, you can click C, and now you create a copy of it. C to make a new one. Now, let's say you have a lot of different objects, okay? And you wanna duplicate this whole thing that you see here. What you can do is you can click and highlight over all of those objects, and then hover over that rectangular blue space, click C, and now you can create a duplicate. This is great if you wanna create walls of props, like you can see with the arcade systems. Now, let's say you don't like the placement of this or you wanna move it to a new spot. You can highlight once again, hover over it, and click M to move. Now you can adjust any spot that you want to. I don't believe there's a current rotation tool that might be in updates to come. Once again, what if you hate everything you just put together? Again, you can highlight over everything you just placed. You have to click Backspace on your computer or Chromebook. Once you do that, it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna delete your selection? You click yes, and there you go, it's gone. Unfortunately, you cannot highlight over terrain at this time. You can only highlight and change and delete uh, objects, props, and devices and wiring. All right, the very last thing is to kind of explain the power of the copying tool. Does it just copy the appearance of it or does it copy every single thing you make about the certain object? So for this example, we have the spawning um, device where it allows when you start the game, you can change wherever you want your characters to load in at. So we can click on the spawning tool and it gives you some options to the side. Do you want the spawn pad to be visible? We'll say yes. Do we want it to be available during all phases? Absolutely. Which teams can use this? This is great if you want to have like team one versus team two. So I'll make team one and anybody can spawn at this. Not just game hosts, but players as well. Now, keeping track of what those four things that I just changed, does it work when I copy it? So if I hover over and click C, I click it again. Let's check it, check it out. And as you notice, it copies every single decision you've made for that as well. That's true for wiring. That's true for any device that you create and make it specific to however you want it to work. You can copy it and it will duplicate all the different decisions you made with it. All right, there's a couple tips and tricks on how to add and erase things in GimKit Creative.